Pokemon TCG Pocket is looking really cool. Now, I had a live reaction to this when the Pokemon Presents dropped, but I had no idea what was going on. I don't follow the Pokemon TCG. I didn't know if this was like an announced project, an add-on to Pokemon TCG Live or anything like that, because I actually don't even know what's going on with Pokemon TCG Live. It was online. And then live went into beta forever. I heard there was like a million problems with it and account transfers and stuff. And then I haven't heard anything about it in months. So I like it, it launched, I guess. I didn't know that. Again, I don't know anything positive about this game. So I didn't know if this was like an add on to that or something different. But no, it's like a newly released project. And they say that inside the Pokemon Presents. But my reaction was just kind of, yeah, this is neat. And the digital packs, like, oh, you get a pack, you open it up, and then all the things that come with that are really cool. Like, you get, you know, stuff to be excited about, your own hollows. It, it's like having virtual Pokemon packs, and it makes sense, and you can trade, and you can battle. So, now the question is, like, how much interaction does this get? Is it actually going to be, like, a better Pokemon TCG Online or better Pokemon TCG Live? Is it going to get millions of players that are actually super active? Now, the quick battle makes it makes me feel like it's not going to be competitive or have any kind of crazy significance to it. But immersive cards, that also seems pretty cool. Like, it seems fun. And I got super into Pokemon Sleep until, uh, what like, all kinds of things happened. So we had LEGO Fortnite, we had the Pokemon... DLC for the Blueberry Academy and then Pal World dropped and now we have Pokemon Day. So my sleep schedule has been cooked for the last three months, which means I haven't been able to like consistently get back into Pokemon Sleep. But I enjoyed Pokemon Sleep. I enjoyed Pokemon Masters. I I'm down with like Pokemon apps. So these like Pokemon apps actually seem pretty cool. And if it all comes together, it's like yo, open pack, get a little bit of dopamine, trade, battle, a simplified battling system, and then it captures and snowballs on the hype that we have with the Pokemon TCG, I'm down with it. It sounds good, and it's made by DNA, so that's another interesting thing that came across it. Like, we're seeing multiple development things. This could be really su successful. Now, I'm wondering, like, you know, we don't know the monetization of it. You could probably just buy packs, and I think it just comes down to, like, m like many things with the Pokemon franchise, if the community is backing it, if it's actually active, it's going to be much better than you think. Like, if a lot of people are playing Pokemon Pocket, cool, then it's worth playing. If no one cares about it, then it's not worth it, and that's going to cause, like, a snowball downhill for the player base. And, you know, is it going to be the next Pokemon Go? Probably not. But it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. I'm actually hopeful, and a lot of the mechanics and stuff are cool about it. And then trying to, like, take the physical cards and move it into the digital space... Yeah, it's pretty nice. So, that's my reaction to this. Wanted to just kind of show, like, yo, the, there was actually an announcement to get excited for that wasn't the garbage of expanding Pokemon Legends. And this is uh, something I'm going to try out and see what happens. I don't know, like, what the content is, how much it expands, if it gets any kind of pickup. But it's going to be fun to try out, at least like Pokemon Sleep. And Pokemon Sleep is doing pretty well. We got the other announcements inside the Pokemon Presents. So, everything seemed pretty cool. And it's kind of neat. And maybe there, there's, like, more to this and it gets an extra surprise. So, and it could just be fun doing battles. Like, you do a nice little quick battle with some friends. If they're playing it. And then maybe learn, like, a simplified Pokemon game. Because it reminds me of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Quick Duels. Which kind of brought its own life into Yu-Gi-Oh! And some of the other things. So, I'm going to see how it goes. I'm, I'm hype. I'm down with this. At least we have, like, a cool new game. But I am, like, a little upset. Like, okay, instead of this, could you just do Pokemon Quest 2? Or could you do both? Just give us Pokemon Quest 2, give us battle replays, and then whatever happens until 2025 doesn't matter. But there we go. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching. Now, why would they have the Gen 2 Pokemon leading it off? Interesting. Tomorrow. We hope you will all enjoy these raids. Today... I'd also like to share the latest updates on a number of our other games. Alright. Please have a look at this. Well, updates on our other games. So this is just gonna be like the rapid fire, right? Pokemon Masters, Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Go. This is what we're used to for Pokemon Day now. A collaboration event with Pokemon Go is on its way.
Give us an update on Pokemon Quest, you cowards! Legendary Pokemon update for Pokemon Sleep? We're the greatest in the world. Man, You're there's the a lot of Johto stuff I could ask for. for the this Pokemon presents. That was quick. They're just like, yeah, yeah, get this out of the way quick. We need to talk about the new game. Wait a second. All this Johto stuff. Pokemon Quest 2? Okay. Alright, Pokemon trading card game finally leaving beta. What is going on? New Pokemon TCG experience. Oh, this is like Yu Gi Oh! with the quick battles. This is neat. I'm not like sure of what's going on exactly, but okay. This Pokemon TCG Pocket. I was this a thing that was like doing a thing because I don't follow the TCG, but. That's pretty neat. Okay. What you just saw was the world's first look at Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. This game lets you easily collect Pokemon cards, which players all over the world have enjoyed since they debuted in 1996. That's pretty cool. I like it. In a new digital format. The Pokemon Company is developing this game as a three-party collaboration with Creatures Inc., the creators of the Pokemon trading card game, and DNA, our partners in the development of Pokemon Masters EX. To mark the launch of this title, here's a message from Mr. Yuji Kitano, President and CEO of Creatures. Mr. Kitano, take it away. Have we heard anything from this Hello, dude? Everyone. I'm President Yuji of Kitano Creatures? From okay. Creatures Inc. I'd like to start by thanking everyone for enjoying the Pokemon Trading Card Game. With Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket, we hope to bring you all a new way to enjoy the Pokemon Trading Card Game, so we are hard at work developing digital cards. When we develop physical cards, we strive to please by taking great care with our paper quality, colors, and printing process. Since this game uses mobile devices rather than paper, we're challenging ourselves to express that care in new ways that are only possible digitally, such as using the characteristics of the screen to show off brilliant colors and stylish effects. One way we're accomplishing this is with immersive cards, which give players the experience of leaping into the world of the card illustration. What's more, we've developed new streamlined game rules based on our existing battle system, so you can enjoy a quick battle during the free moments in your day. Our three companies are all working hard to deliver a fun experience for those of you who already enjoy the Pokemon trading card game, as well as those who've never played before. 
We hope you look forward to the results of our latest efforts in the world of the Pokemon trading card game, Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Kitano. We plan to launch Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket within 2024. Please look forward to more details in the future. Just one more thing. Alright. We'd like to end today's presentation with one final video for you all. Thank you for tuning in. Alright. This is it, boys. What is Pokemon cooking? Why are there unknown? You can't give me hope like this. With all the Gen 2 stuff. They wouldn't. <sighs> Not a single person was even close. And why? And how? And... Those... Motherfuckers over at Game Freak!